Rocking with pettyblog.com. I can't be on the petty blog. <laughs> oh, petty. I wonder what pet T means. Like, does she have a pet that she really likes? Petty. <laughs> petty and T. I, 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 I was so dumb. <laughs> so they already know that I'm dropping the T. So let's get right into it. Do y'all remember the story that we brought to you a little over two and a half years ago about the woman named Jane who exposed the DL man who she caught with his so-called male cousin in a compromising position, if you know what I mean. Looking like your cousin, but you really wasn't. Well, in case you forgot or never heard the story, let me quickly refresh your memory. Jane was a mother and a boss chick from Indianapolis who was all about her bread. She owned a tire shop. If anybody needs any tires, come on out. <laughs> Tons of tires. I got them all. I got tons of them. And she had relations with this guy named Jamel once upon a time. She claims that he gave her head. So fast forward, they linked up to talk about business or whatever. And after she left his spot, she realized that she forgot one of her business phones at his place. So she kept on calling the phone and him, but no answer. So she drove back to his spot and was heavily knocking on his door, but he didn't come to it. So lo and behold, the door was unlocked. So she walked in and her jaw dropped at what she claimed she was witnessing. She saw Jamel and his so-called cousin entangled, for lack of a better word. And, and she said that they both stared her down, obviously shocked that they were caught. And she claims that they gave her a look like they wanted to off her right there. And she basically told them that they have to cash at her $5,000 or she's going to tell everybody in Indianapolis what she saw. And Jamel threatened her and they never sent the money. So she really went and told everybody. She took to Facebook, posted his picture, called him a gay bird with details and what really upset her is the fact that she let him go down on her not knowing that he really got down like that on the low i mean she put his whole name out there as you can see right here from the still shot of the video when it was still up it says jamal carter gay bird he was getting the fudge out the brownies Hello, I'm out, man. Ultimately, they chased her down, but she did get away. But she did give a warning that if anything happens to her, it's him, the DL dude that she allegedly walked in on, Jamel. Y'all, they tried to kill me, so anything happened to me. Y'all know they tried to kill me today. So unfortunately, within like a day, she was murdered. She was shot at multiple times while driving and crashed her vehicle. Left two cars a twisted mess. Surprisingly, the guy got out of the car in one piece. The case did go cold and no arrests were made, but people suspect that Jamel was responsible. But don't get me wrong, Jane was obviously loud and rambunctious. She spoke her mind and never bit her tongue, especially when it came to men. So that alone got her into a few local beefs, but folks feel like it was quite evident that based on his threats and the timing that ultimately her exposing something that DL men want to hide that is serious to their tough guy image is what ended her life. But yeah, I say all that to say, here's an update on Jamel. And big up to our subby, R. Smith, because back in October, they're the one who came and told us this update. But I never had time to get to it. Sorry, I'm only one person, but I got time today. It's better late than never, y'all. And this happened on October 6, 2022. Police found a man dead in a field behind the backyard of a home. No word on the victim's name or what might have led up to that shooting. Update, the victim has been identified as 41-year-old Jamel Carter Sr. Indianapolis, a man was found fatally shot Thursday afternoon in a residential area on the city's west side. Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department was called to a report of a person shot just after 2.15 p.m. Thursday in a 700 block of North Holmes Avenue, according to dispatch information. The location where police were sent is the address of Eden Missionary Baptist Church in Eden Neighborhood Development Corp. Medics were sent about the same time to a gunshot scene unsafe at a home near the church, online dispatch information showed. The incident happened in what IMPD officer William Young described as a field directly behind the backyard of a home on North Holmes Avenue, across the street from the church. IMPD initially said the person was in critical condition, but a few minutes later sent an update that the person had died, and no arrests have been made. Wow, it's always tragic when someone's life is cut short. Please stop the gun violence. I see the whole gay bird in front of my whole two eyes. Two! Two eyes! I had to come here and tell them about it. Listen, happened earlier today. Hold on. This nigga, y'all, that. Hold on, let me wait for some more people to get on here. Let me, because y'all gotta hear this story, because this is a good story. You know, we hear a lot of shit, but we don't never really get to see that shit. These niggas, they hiding. Listen, y'all, they're hiding behind 
the 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 covers in the sheets around this bitch. Hiding. They're hiding. So I haven't, you know, discussing some shit with this nigga. We have some we were doing some business, me and this dude. Now I'm gonna tell you he did give me some head way back a long time ago. Long, long time ago, a couple years ago. Like before I started fucking with friend or something, I took no he wasn't even no, he wasn't even there. It was at the okay, it was about two years. How was it two years ago? About two years ago. I think when I first got was on Orchard, he gave me some head. That's when it was, you know. Okay, so when I was on Orchard, nigga gave me some head, right? Never really talked to him like that. You know, I had the old man, I had a lot of other shit going on, so I never talked to the nigga like that. Listen, no, listen, listen, listen. So I was doing some business with this nigga, right? Hold on. I had to run in there and still take my phone and run out. They chased me out the house. Hold on. Pants hanging and they're right there. Hold on. Screaming, how of you though? They was grossing fuck on me. I don't give a fuck. You niggas better give me some money. I'm fucking telling everybody. You niggas got some money? We all of you. Ain't nobody fuck all of you. How of you gonna have to pay? Because if not, if it's a story to be told. Oh, uh, y'all don't wanna pay? Bitch, you was good. Like, I let you give me some head and you had a fucking nigga in they ass? Oh no. Oh no. This is not gonna fly. No, it's not. And I feel disgusted. I've been sick all day. I've been sick all day. Thinking about how I let you suck on my mother and pussy. And you're over there hitting the fudge out the back of this. I can't. I can't stomach it. But they say you far east side and they been doing that shit. I ain't never seen that shit. Listen, I never seen that shit with my own two eyes. But today, I've been scoring for life. But today, I'm trying to move forward. Today has been one. Just today, I've been traumatized. You niggas out here traumatizing bitches. Pull down on this nigga. Hold on. I grabbed what I came to get or whatever. He's like, come on over here to my uncle's house or whatever. Boom. Familiar with your uncle's house. Had been over there before once or twice or something like that. You know what I mean? So I had to grab whatever, but I'm in a rush because I got to get back to the shop or whatever, you know, or whatnot. So, boom. I'm riding down the street. I done got, I'm damn near to the tower shops on 16th Street. I'm like, fuck. I don't let my phone. So I start calling my phone and I start calling his phone and, and, and when nobody answering on my shop phone, I got a flip a little phone, a little flip. It's my shop phone, right? So girl, yeah. So I'm on my little shop flip phone and I'm like, boom, calling my cell phone, calling this phone. He don't, ain't want nobody answer. So I'm like, damn. So now I done got back over there. I done parked right up by the front door though. Thank God, cause they chased me out of there. They was trying to kill me. Y'all, they tried to kill me. So ain't that happened to me? Y'all know they tried to kill me today. Them niggas. And then when I got in the car, I started talking shit. If anybody knows me, that's how I get down. As soon as I get to the car, when I get close to my pistol. I'm really talking shit now. So wait a minute. So look, I'm in here. Hold on. <laughs> I, I, I'm banging on the door. I'm like, boom, boom, boom. So I'm knocking on this motherfucking door. I'm like, I need my fucking phone. That's my money bag. I'm like hitting this fucking door. And I'm like, when nobody comes to the front door, right? I'm like, damn. Something told me to check the door. That motherfucker was unlocked. When I stepped in there, y'all. When I stepped, oh my God. My stomach hurts. My stomach hurts. When I walked in there, y'all. What I seen with my own two eyes. Hold on, thank God my phone was sitting on the table right there by the door. I swung on that door, but I said, oh! And I was just, I, was, I couldn't even talk the words. The words, the words. I couldn't get the words out of my mouth, right? So I'm like, I'm trying to breathe. I'm like, and I just looked down and see my phone, I snatched my phone. They were standing there just staring at me. So them motherfuckers looking like the devil. They wasn't like they was really trying to kill me. So I just grabbed my phone off my I was like, so I jump in, start running. I had to jump back in my car. Remember I told y'all parked up by the door, right? So I get in my fucking car. And as I'm backing down, I'm like, hey, you motherfuckers, y'all better come up off some money. Y'all be talking that big money and shit. Give me a couple of bands or something now. Cause this right here, this is unacceptable. I'm out the window like you motherfuckers is trifling. And you bitches think y'all ain't gonna get me. So wait, dude said, come on back. I said, nah, you on bullshit. I was like, motherfucker, send it. 
cash at me, motherfucker. I say, if you don't cash at me in the next hour, I'm telling the whole goddamn city what the fuck went on. I was just, I told them just cash at me five bands. That's all. Shit, you in a $50,000 truck? I can't get five bands? I can't get five bands? Bro, I was just like, get sent, cash at me five bands. That's it. And I ain't gonna sell a soul. You know, you won't be nothing on nothing. Huh. That motherfucker, look, I called his phone. He kept saying, Bitch, I'm Hallville. Bitch, ain't nobody gonna go against. I said, who the fuck is Hallville? Don't nobody give a fuck about Hallville. Who the fuck? Does anybody know what the fuck? How, what the Hallville? What? I was just sitting over there. I got a bag on ha at Hallville. I sat you bitches faces and made a bag. What are you talking about? Enough to get me to my next location. So fuck, fuck Hallville. Who are ya? Hallville, who is it? Anybody left? Who is this nigga? And so, hold on. I gave this nigga Apple opportunity. I even gave him an extra hour to come up with the money. I was like, listen, just run me the bag and I just try to forget. But at the same time, nigga, you could have let me know you was getting down like it. He said, bitch, I ain't gotta tell you shit, bitch. I don't owe you no explanations, bitch. He's talking like a G, though. I said, boy, they told me they was doing it out east, but I didn't know y'all was doing it out west like this. I believe they out east. I done heard about L East. I heard about you niggas L East getting nasty than a bitch about a bag. Y'all niggas L East, them niggas getting 20, 30 off white men of her. I don't know, but what I am gonna say is, Jamal, you got the right bitch today because I take it personal because you gave me, you administrated head on me before. So now I gotta go, well, I stay in the hospital, so you know what I mean? They, I probably would've known. If something would have happened to me behind the shit. But at the same time, you're not safe. You're not safe. You know, it's been a long time really since I touched you like that or whatever. But my fuck ain't safe out here, y'all. It's definitely not safe. They're sick. They're nasty. And they're just out here to get bitches. And they're out here. This sh Man, that shit's real. That shit I see in ATL is so fucking real. And it's starting to come down. It's, it, it, it's tumbling down to our city. They're taking over. Everybody needs to check their nigga out straight up. Because these niggas are playing like they this and that. And got the keys to the city and all this and that. And they under the sheets and the covers. So I'm just saying at the end of the day. I've been super traumatized today by some niggas once again because I had to witness some shit that I didn't come to see or nothing like that. And I don't appreciate it either. Because you know what? If you get down like that, nigga, you need to let motherfuckers know. You don't just do that kind of shit and just think it's okay. And you was looking at me like you was going to do something to me. Bitch, I'm out of here. I want to let them go right out my little court, honey. I don't move without my pistol. Never, bitch. Should have went to the door with that motherfucker. Good thing I didn't. Then pop one of them niggas. Hey, all I'm saying is, guys, you females don't make it no better. Y'all keep accepting these niggas back, and they just nasty, and they just do what the fuck ever they want to do and stuff. And now they just getting wild. They, I guess they just tired of us, bitch. Now they fuck each other and shit. The shit's getting wild. All I'm saying is, be safe. Bye. I don't think this shit right here, I'm air by suspect. <laughs> after, after this right here, all you niggas is suspect until I determine otherwise. All you niggas on the list. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'm cool. I should have known. You know what, though? I'm going to tell you what the first clue was. The nigga was getting his toes done. This should have told it right here. The nigga was getting his toes done, y'all. And you know how you can change the face on live? You can change the face of the person that, you know, like you're looking at them. He was changing them into men and stuff. I understood when he was changing it to like women or characters, but when you was changing them into men, why do you have the men on your feet, baby? What are you doing here? I'm like, I thought that was weird. That was the clue. See, it'd be clues. It'd be signs. I, and I did show somebody that shit and was like, ain't this weird in a bitch? Why is he turning the camera into a man? Touching his feet. I thought that was disgusting. That wasn't number two weeks ago. And man, here we go. I walked into a mess. I walked into some smutty, nasty, disgusting shit. And I'll probably never be the same. I don't know. 
I don't know. <laughs> star, star, I'm gonna never be the same. Never. And these little dusty ass niggas, they gotta be stopped. They're fucking disgusting. For the better Indianapolis, for the greater Indianapolis, you niggas just knock that shit off. Y'all infesting our little chill. We all gonna be dead. I ain't touching nothing else. I don't want no head off you niggas or nothing else. I'm cool. I'm cool. Y'all done show me what time it is around here. But one thing for certain, two things for sure, that bitch never be back on this line. A day in his motherfucking wife. Mm, bitch, you should've just paid the bread. You the one walking around like you got so much motherfucking money. Nigga, well, you better get, you could've, you should've got me quiet then. 5,000, I would've thought maybe that you were sincere about being, girl, right. You would've ran me about five Gs. I would've thought that, you know what I mean? I could've maybe took you seriously. You maybe, you know, I don't know, but you, you declined. When you thought you was gonna scream that Hallville shit, thought somebody was gonna give a fuck about that shit. I don't give a fuck about a Hallville. Nigga, I sat over in Hallville by myself and made a bag. Was leaving out of there with Hunter every day. What are y'all talking about? But what you're not gonna do is never get back on my line again. Weird ass motherfucking dude. But today was your day to get exposed. Clearly today, Where's your day? Because I'm here to tell you. I'm at the top of the mound. I'm telling it like Moses, like I told you I was going to do. And I told you I was going to do this. Motherfucker, they, ch they chased me out the house, though. Hold on. They motherfucking pants was hanging. Hold on. God, wait a minute. Listen, listen. I've never seen such. Thank God for the people that were outside and shit and kids and shit. They had to stop at the door because they got the top of apartments. They got the little hallway. They had to stop at the door because there were kids and shit getting out of school and stuff. And people outside, thank God. But I hopped in my truck and was, I mean, hopped in my truck. I was talking hella shit. <laughs> I was talking hella shit. Boy, hey, everything I wanted to say, I couldn't say at that moment. But after I got to my car, I told them motherfucker the truth about they trifling asses. Ugh. And you kept on trying to tell me this one, that this nigga was your cousin. So it wasn't your cousin? Or wasn't he? I don't know. Y'all got, I don't, I mean. Mmm. And kept having them in your videos all the time. Just some dude I had never seen in a day in my life. And come to find out, you and this nigga sticking and moving. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. But I'm about to have to get out here, y'all. Because I got some shit going on. But I just, I had to just get this off of my chest. I had to just. Bring it to the community because this type of shit right here, it gotta be stopped. And if something happens to me or something like that, at least you guys know the truth, okay? Because he, he's quite upset about the change of events that have occurred at this point. And um, I don't even know who the weirdo he had with him or nothing or none of that. But all that hobby old shit, I don't care about it or none of that. But the truth is the truth, and it is what it is. And next time, take my my threats. For real. I don't know why we'll make we'll make you think I won't go tell nobody. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I don't fuck with you like that. This these niggas really crazy. Hun Holville. Okay. Hun Holville. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? I used to look down a street from Nakia. Who cares? <laughs> I, was, I was in Holville. Don't nobody give a fuck about that shit. Y'all funny, y'all freaking in Highville. I've had enough of it. So, from here on out, y'all, y'all better check these niggas out straight up. I mean, I'm talking about taking back to the third grade, talk to the principal. I'm talking about we got to really start checking these niggas out because I would have never thought in a million years this nigga's going to come out of a bag like this today. This right here, it, it, it just killed my little heart because you be trusting people. You do be believing people. When they show you, you totally different from what you really thought. These niggas got on masks, y'all. They got on whole mask. Be safe out here. That's the only thing I can say is be safe. Be safe. I'm, I'm disgusted, but it's gonna be all right. But if anybody needs any tires, come on out, Castleton. <laughs> tons of tires, I got them all. I got tons of them. And uh, I'll get back with y'all.